Today's video is going to be on doing a border crossing at Nicaragua border, uh, doing a land crossing, and then uh, just a quick summary of the different types of residency you can apply for when coming to Costa Rica if you want to live here full time. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So when you go to the Nicaragua and Costa Rica border crossing to the north, Pinas Blancas, you're going to find like when you're getting up to the border, there's going to be a lot of semis sometimes parked. Um, they have made it a lot better where they made an extra lane now so that you can kind of get around them. Uh, the first time we went, it was like lineup of trucks for miles and our shuttle driver like went into the other lane and into the ditch. Um, so if we hadn't gone with a driver the first time, we wouldn't have known that you can go around those trucks. So uh, yeah, you can go around them, uh, but it is a lot better now uh, with that extra lane. Um, so you're going to go past that, so you're going to enter, um, there's like a gate with a, a little checkpoint for the trucks, you're going to go through that. And then when you get there just before the Costa Rica border uh, building, to the right you're going to see a little green hut. So you're going to have to go there to pay your exit tax and at the current date, which is January 2020, uh, the exit tax at the border is $9, it used to be 8 so they have switched it to 9 so yeah, it's $9 now. Um, so if you drive, you can just stop there, jump out, get to your exit tax. Uh, they'll give you a little slip, which you don't need. And then if you go through the, where the little fence is, there's a parking lot to the right and you can pay someone there uh, to watch your vehicle, make sure it's safe. Uh, you just pay them when you get back. So yeah, just uh, stop there. Or if you're with a shuttle, they'll just drop you off at that point as well where the, where the parking lot is. Then you're gonna walk towards the uh, Costa Rican building. You're gonna go in there, they're gonna Give you your exit stamp and then once you're done there there's a bit of a walk it's a long straight road that you take past semis um there's little guys on bikes if you don't want to walk it they'll uh they'll bike you across once you're done walking that long strip there's going to be another little uh building where uh, policia are and they're just going to check your uh, passport make sure you have your exit stamp uh, for everybody that you're going with once you're done that little building, you're gonna go over to, across the road to the left and there's another little tent. I'm not sure what this tent's for. I don't know if it's a medical thing, um, but they're just basically checking uh, how many people are going through and what nationality you are. They'll also look at your passport, so you gotta keep your passport out while you do this whole routine. This is where it changes from the last time we went, or the last time we did a video. Instead of going straight now to the Nicaragua border building, it's actually a nice new big white <laughs> building to the right. So you're just gonna walk down that same little sidewalk and then you're gonna cut across to the right and you'll see the big building which is in the video right now uh, once there uh, same thing you're just gonna you gonna enter the door you're gonna have to pay one dollar US per person for this little piece of paper that you don't you just throw it in your pocket <laughs> I'm not sure what it's for and then uh, you're gonna wait in line for the next available uh, customs officer and then at that point they're gonna ask uh, where you're going what your intentions are um, and how long you're going to be in the country, that kind of thing. And uh, at this point, you pay them $12. They're going to give you the entrance stamp into Nicaragua. So um, I know a lot of people just do a border run to the border and back just to get their visa stamp. Uh, we try to go into the country and make a little vacation out of it. Sometimes we have to do a quick uh, just border run there and back. Uh, if that's the case, then you're just going to turn around and go into the other door once you're on the other side of the building, and then you're going to get your you're going to pay another dollar to enter the the building, and then it's uh, it's two dollars per person to get your exit stamp out of Nicaragua. And then once you've exited Nicaragua again, you're going to uh, walk over um, and to the right where the old building was. There's actually some duty free shops there. We like to stop there. Um, you can pick up uh, really cheap booze there. That's mostly what people buy there. Uh, chocolates, um, there's a bit of clothing, shoes, uh, some like small appliances. And you're gonna see there's some uh, little stalls there still where they're selling street meat, uh, plantain chips, uh, just all sorts of little things in, in the little stalls. And you're gonna walk past that again. You're gonna go through the little tent and then again back over to the little police hut. Um, sometimes they don't even actually ask to see your passport, uh, especially if you've just done like an in and out. They, they recognize you, so they're just like whatever. 
once you're done in the little police set, you're gonna walk straight down that road again, past all the semis, and then you're gonna go to the right of the Costa Rica border building, and then that's where you're gonna stand in line and you're gonna get to your entrance stamp. To get your entrance stamp, uh, it doesn't cost anything, but you do have to have a proof of exit ticket, so whether it's a plane ticket uh, or a bus ticket, uh, you're gonna have to show that. You're also gonna have to tell them where you're where you're going, where you're headed, um, where you're staying. But yeah, that's it. It's a pretty easy process once you know how to do it, which is why I wanted to make this video just to show you the the new building and then where the little green hut is to pay your exit tax when you're leaving Costa Rica. Land exit tax is actually cheaper than the if you fly out. Fly out, I believe, is thirty dollars or twenty nine or thirty dollars. Uh, we haven't flown out yet. We've just done border uh, crossing. So yeah. It is a little bit more expensive when you fly out. As for residency, there is, uh, I guess, five ways for you to get residency here. Um, I'm going to put a link below to TicoTimes.net's article. They did a whole write-up. It gives you all the uh, information as far as paperwork you have to do because you have to do stuff back in your, uh, your original country. So for Canada, we'd have to go back. We have to get all our paperwork, uh, like birth certificates, marriage license. We have to then take it to the embassy. And I think we have to get it translated into Spanish and then stamped. And then it gets sent over to Costa Rica, the embassy here. Uh, we haven't done it yet. It's going to cost us a lot of money. So we're saving up so that we can eventually get a residency down here. Um, but yeah, I just thought we would uh, tell you the different ways you can do it. All right, so I have the article up on my phone right now. So I'm just going to quickly kind of go through a couple little key points about it just so you have it in video form. And again, just go to the link below. It's going to give you the whole description on, on what to do. And they just updated this, this uh, well, 2019, so it's fairly new. Uh, so pension auto, which is probably the most common one. Uh, a lot of people retire and they have a pension. So if you can prove that you have a pension, it has to be uh, $1,000 US a month. Uh, think per person it doesn't say oh no you can claim your spouse independence under 18 so just one person has to have proof of pension for a thousand dollars US and then uh, your spouse and, and if you had dependents that are under 18 which if you're retired I don't know <laughs> maybe if you adopted somebody or something um, so yeah with that uh, with most of the residencies you cannot actually work in Costa Rica you have to have your actual citizenship uh, permanent residency I guess um, then you can work in the country legally uh, the other one is rentista, so that's where you can prove that you make $2,500 US a month, uh, whether you work online or uh, you pull from uh, investments, I don't know, like <laughs> different ways to do it. Both of these, so you have to visit Costa Rica at least once a year to keep your residency, um, So, but most people are living down here anyway. Or the other way is to put $60,000 US dollars into a Costa Rican bank account and um, it has to be an approved Costa Rica account, so probably Banco Nacional, something like that. Uh, again, cannot work in the country legally. And then uh, another one is an investor. So that's where if you buy a home or start a business, at uh, it has to be $200,000 US that you have invested in the country. You can then apply for the investor's residency. Um, that's the one we're gonna do because we've built our land and we've spent well over that. So <laughs> when we can uh, get a residency, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, you can claim your spouse and dependents under 18 under that residency as well. Your income is allowed from your project. So if you have a business like a, a bar, hotel, restaurant, or anything like that, then you're allowed to to create income from that uh, as a resident. Um, and then the other one is a representant. So this one is, um, has to be a director of a company meeting certain requirements. So I guess if you were like a, a CEO of a big company, you can come down here and you can get your residency because you're then taking care of a, a big uh, company down here. And then uh, permanent residency. So um, with that, uh, if you uh, marry someone from Costa Rica or if you have a child in the country, you can then apply for your per permanent residency. You can work if you have your permanent residency and then, um, yeah, you can claim your spouse and your dependents that are, uh, under 18 right so once you have your temporary residency for three years you can then apply for your permanent residency as well and uh, there's just different paperwork to go through and do that but again uh, link is below just so you can actually see it in like a written form and it might be a little bit easier to understand we haven't done the process yet so we're not sure all of the steps and uh, yeah I can't wait to get ours down here and to not have to do uh, border runs or fly out of the country every three months as much as fun as it is it's uh, it 
it is time consuming because you got to do it four times a year. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I think this is the last one in the series for now until we get some more questions uh, or we can think of something else. Uh, yeah, we just want to thank everybody for watching this series and uh, we hope that all of the answers we've given to everybody's questions have been a huge help for everybody. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you get notified when we come up with a new video. We do have the uh, Travel Tip Thursday videos that are going to be every Thursday, either at 10:45 Central or 9:45. I haven't decided yet to be in between that time frame. And then uh, we're going to continue to do Sunday videos when we can, uh, whether it's travel vlogs or informational stuff as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Ciao. <laughs> Shane is not going to be in this video. She's sitting in the house right now. When you go to the Nicaragua border, or so when you go to the Nicaraguan border at uh, Penis Blancas, Penis Blancas, and no, it doesn't mean white penis. All right, so when you go to the Nicaragua and Costa Rica border crossing called Penis, <laughs> say it right. <laughs> and <laughs> Shane, is, Shane is filming, it's 